The Lowbirds, that's our word, brought to you by Channel 12 Action News. No. <laughs> Fuck those guys. <laughs> and I'm here, uh, Jim Jesus here, and I'm here with Jeremy H. H. Bomb. Yeah, Isaac, let's go with that one tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to spend 20 minutes figuring out what your name is, like the no. MCAT Barbershop, but uh, I was on their show recently. Um, I know. I, I heard. it was. Uh, I, I laughed a lot. I meant, to, I meant to tell you guys. It was, uh, it was, it was a fun show to listen yeah. to. <laughs> um, so I, I, I usually don't listen to my, my appearances on other podcasts. I just share them <laughs> because I already yeah, experienced me, me too. I will listen to the Lulberts occasionally, but it's usually like a couple days afterwards or just to do a couple needle drops to make sure that all the audio is there, but... Yeah, I have a, I have to force myself to listen to <laughs> listen to the Lulberts, but I do that just for quality assurance. Um, yeah, but other people's podcasts, I'm like, no, nah, that's their problem. <laughs> <laughs> that's completely their problem. But someone told me that there was like audio or connection issues with me. But uh, um, yeah, you 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 broke. I mean, you broke up here and there, and a couple of times you got a little quiet, or it was weird. But it wasn't like you mm-hmm. like like you were turning away. It just like your volume dropped a little bit. But um, for, yeah. I mean, you, I heard you for the most part. So yeah, I, I find it entertaining. Yeah, we were, I, I use Discord for this. Um, I haven't been using FiendPhone for quite a while now. And, it, it's, you know, it's nothing against FiendPhone. It's just this is a whole lot easier to use for most people. Uh, yeah. It's just easier to just be like, just just go to Discord dot, or discordapp.com and just hop on. We'll figure, we'll figure it out. Um, oh, yeah. But, um, yeah, like I usually, what I do is I have the Lulberts recording studio is its own server, and they didn't do it that way. What they were doing was they were, uh, they just called me as a friend on Discord. And oh, I think that's what it was. Yeah, that that would make sense then, because we have the same thing for Seeds of Liberty, because we use the we use Discord as a backup there mm-hmm. for the same for the same reason that it's easier. And anytime we get somebody who who wants to be a guest but they're a Mac user, it's just like, well, we don't have another choice. So <laughs> we that's why that's why we keep Discord around. <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that that would make sense if they tried to do it that way. Um, I don't know why they would. Although Scotty's not the most well, I'm one to talk, but I, 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 be, being one I can say when Toddy's not Scotty's not very technologically advanced. So yeah, it's a good show though, nonetheless. And when they get it, when they get everything working, it, it's fine. But um, yeah, um, <laughs> but I, and it was interesting because I killed I killed that uh, that that uh, mushroom spot. I don't know if I was breaking up during that segment. I hope not. That would really suck. Uh, <laughs> oh, from what I remember, only a little bit, but you definitely did. You definitely stole the show on that one. That was perfect. And you know what? I did not do any any like they were just like, uh, oh, we have some segment, but I don't think it's ready yet for PCP. And I was like, have you guys done mushrooms yet? I don't think you guys did mushrooms yet. They're like, no. Do you know a lot about mushrooms? I was like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like an encyclopedia about shrooms. Uh, <laughs> but um, are, are we going to be talking about anything else tonight, or is this all we're covering? <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> we're going to need another hour. <laughs> This is, is this cool with Pax Libertas? Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so you had court today. <laughs> can, can oh, you, what, yes, what can, I did. What can we say about this that you can say, you know, without getting yourself into too much legal trouble? At this point, I'm starting to really not care about the <laughs> excess legal trouble. <laughs> it looks like it's a very um, doomed case on their side. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well... What I mean, I I, I, I guess I can still cover the yourself, ba- though. I, yeah, I can still I can still cover the basics. Uh, you know, n- another here another hearing day today. Uh, we had you know my lawyer and I had been waiting. Supposedly the the DA was was go- was finally going to offer us a deal, and you know that that was contingent on me collecting character reference letters for myself. Uh, to which when my my lawyer first asked me like when he said that's what they were looking for, I was like, you're kidding me, right? And he's like, "What are you talking about?" I'm like, "That must be one of the dumbest requests I've ever heard." I'm like, "This is this is like along the same lines of my hiring practices. I don't ask people for character references. You know why?" And he's like, "Why?" I'm like, "Because only an idiot would give me a reference from somebody who didn't like them or thought badly of them. So they're virtually worthless to me." <laughs> and he goes, "Oh, I never thought of it that way. Yeah, you're probably <laughs> right, but this is what they want." So, I'm like. All right. So I went ahead and collected a bunch of these Jeremy's letters. Jeremy's a horrible person. He let his dog poop on my yard. Uh, I know. Yeah, this, exactly. This is, I'm totally giving this one to the judge. <laughs> so exactly. So so I said, all right, fine. So I collected these things. He's like, you know, you just got to get them to me in plenty of time before the court date. I said, all right, great. I got them to him like two and a half weeks ahead of time. Uh, I check in with him last week. He's like, I checked with them once. They have them. 
Uh, they just haven't gotten back to me. I'm going to check again next day. Okay, they have again confirmed that they have the letters. They're still not telling me anything else, though. <laughs> so they literally waited until half an hour before court this morning to finally present an offer, which meant I had anywhere between a half an hour and an hour and a half to decide what I, if I wanted to take this plea or not after they had pushed this case off time and time again by simply uttering the phrase, we're not ready, Your Honor. <laughs> that's all That's all the DA's office had to say. And the judge says, okay, we're adjourning it to this date. Now, if I had wanted to adjourn uh, again, my lawyer told me it would, the, the judge would most likely would tell me that that's just not going to happen because I'm not afforded the same, uh, the, 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 the same uh, you know, privileges as the other side is. But anyway, so we finally get an offer half an hour beforehand. I'm not happy with it because uh, it, among the other BS it included was an undisclosed amount of fines. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what is this traffic court? They just want my money. And my lawyer said, yeah, it, that's pretty much the way they work here. He's like, because they were willing to reduce the charges basically down to a disorderly conduct. So nothing shows up well, on my record, yada, yada, yada. I, th I think we're uh, kind of burying the lead a little bit. We, oh. wh what are you accused of? For just for people who just, f oh, just anyway, now yeah, learning about this. I mean, for, it did make anybody. somewhat national news, but <laughs> this is true. Yeah. Uh, but for, yeah, for anybody who doesn't know, uh, the charges I'm facing, I, I basically, well, what I did was try to get some trespassers off my property i instead got charged with uh menacing in the second degree i think or fourth degree i can't remember i know a fourth degree because it's a it's a misdemeanor not a felony so it, it, menacing in the fourth degree and then the da tacked on an additional charge of criminal possession of a weapon just because he felt like it yeah and this was, <laughs> this was all kind of stemming from a facebook post where you said yep Oh yeah! Like Facebook look at all post. these look at all these agents of the state and agents of the state are shutting down the the, the city streets because uh, of of a, of a dead fireman. So you weren't really complaining about the dead fireman. You were complaining about the ceremony that was taking place by the yeah. government, yeah, <laughs> and yeah, then everybody I, was I, like, "Why do you hate this hero?" <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's exactly what happened. Yeah, viral Facebook post: News reporter shows up at my house. I demand that she leave multiple times, and she refuses. And then everything that had led to everything else. So, Channel Twelve so, yeah. Action News. Uh, <laughs> or is horrible. It, is, is it? I don't even think it's, it's just. It's just. It's just. I think it's just Channel Twelve Long Island. I think that's what oh, it is. Long um, Island. But, yeah, it's but it's the it's the biggest it's the biggest news source here on the island. It's 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 absolute garbage. But anyway, so yeah, so 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 yeah, they left me in a really tight position, and I, I really didn't want to accept the offer because I don't feel I did anything wrong. <laughs> and uh, you know, my lawyer kind of wanted me to just to put it behind me and and take it. And uh, I was actually quasi set to do that because he had he convinced me that even if i took it to, even if i took the deal today the way things work here in new york apparently which i learned today is um if i were to accept the deal today i would have to go out and complete all of the all of the things they wanted me to do you know the fines community service whatever else they had tacked on there as part of this you know this deal that they wanted to offer me i had to complete all of, the, of those parts on my own and then i go back for the official sentencing <laughs> But I have to get all that stuff done first. Oh. So my lawyer convinced me that as long as if because of the way it's set up, I could actually take the deal. And then within a couple of weeks, call him and say, you know what? I've decided I don't want to take the deal. I'm going to trial. Um, so with that in mind, I'm like, all right, fine. I guess we'll just take that route today. And then my lawyer pulled a audible at the line of scrimmage, decided to call for an adjournment because they switched judges up on us at the last minute, too. And uh, we're singing a much different tune afterwards uh, about the fact that, you know, if I did decide to go to trial, that now he actually thinks that I have a, I have a, I would stay at a pretty good chance, even if I go pro se. If you go what? If I go pro se, which which uh, if I if I if I, def if I uh, represent myself. Oh, OK. He he th he thinks which this is actually a huge turnaround because this guy he knows my like we've butted heads over my our philo philosophical differences this entire time. He's a good friend of my cousins. They've worked together for years, so he's definitely given me some leniency that he probably wouldn't have given with other clients. Um, but we've gone back and forth because you know I've told him this whole time this is a bit this has been about principle from day one with me. You know, as as stupid as it may sound to some people, I'm a stickler for this stupid shit, and it's all because. That's what I want 
to show my children. Like, this is how I'm trying to lead by example for them and have been ever since uh, I became, like, I officially started calling myself an anarchist, you know, like within a year after they were born. Like, that was a resolution I made to myself was that, you know, that, that's what I'm going to do. You know, the best thing I can do for them is show them how to be free, show them how to live a principled life, and hopefully they'll follow it, you know? Yep. I'm not going to, I'm not going to pound it down their throat. So, you know, just like the fact that the, the whole reason this started is because I don't hide my identity online. I've always used my real name on social media. Um, I've never hid from it. Uh, you know, my, my face is out there. I'm, I'm known because I'm on nationally syndicated radio to a certain extent. You know, like I'm not like a very I'm not a very private person about the, about my philosophy and what I and, and, and how News I talk about it. And the AP Newswire. <laughs> yes. That, too. <laughs> So, uh, so yeah, man, it's, you know, that, that's why this started. Cause I, I refused to back down in the first place. So I was always a target, uh, to have something happen to me. It just eventually caught up with me. I knew this was a, a threat all along. It just sucks the way it went down, but you know, I, I, this, this is the times that I try my best to apply the stoic philosophy and just, you know, all right, f whatever, whose ever fault it was. I know, I know I had, I had my own, own responsibility in this. Screw it. I'm here now. What the hell do I do with it? You know, don't don't just don't bitch and moan about the past. Don't don't question what if. Just say, okay, this is your reality. What the fuck are you gonna do with it, schmuck? <laughs> you yep. know. So, so, so yeah. So, so you were, you were charged with with menacing. Is it, yes. That's a. You said it was a misdemeanor. Yes, it's a class A misdemeanor. So is me is meddling like one step up from that, like a felony? <laughs> You meddling kids? No, no. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> um, it's kind of a bizarre term to throw it, like a legal term, like it's menacing. Yeah, okay. it is. But what you know, there, there's there's a bunch of legal terms that are ridiculous. You know, this is just one of them. Um, it's kind of like you know, yeah, like possession. Yeah, that, that's a, that's a, and <laughs> <laughs> I'm holding something on my person or, yeah. or my or my own property. Okay, next. <laughs> And, <laughs> but apparently there's a uh, law against that. Yes. Well, I mean, they had to hit me with something because I didn't actually like. It wasn't like it wasn't like an aggravated assault. It wasn't, uh, you know, I wasn't an attempted murder or anything like that. Because you know, even by their own, even by the news crew's own, you know, obviously edited like horribly edited video for their benefit. Um, you know, it was even from that, it was evident that I did not even like lunge wait, wait, at wait, her wait, in wait. any are way. You, are you saying that the media alters footage to make people look bad? You know, Jim, I wouldn't have believed it until it happened to me. <laughs> A funny thing, though. <laughs> I can't believe it. <laughs> You know, actually, the, the sad thing about that is I have family members who used to argue with me when I would try to explain to them that the media is, is does things like this. And they kept insisting that it wouldn't. And even after this happened to me, I had certain family members. I mean, most of them disowned me after this happened. But uh, <laughs> cer certain ones specifically, um, when still engaging with me, still refuse to believe that this happens. <laughs> even after I have. I'm like. It happened to me. Here you go. <laughs> yep. <sighs> so, so yeah, menacing man. Good stuff. Yeah. Um, but speaking of holding or possession, <laughs> I have <laughs> by far the best news article I have seen in a long time. And, and the news. Uh, <laughs> but I've seen the, the best article. The, the, the and it starts out great with the headline and then it just keeps getting better as it goes down. Um, and I didn't, okay. I was like, I mentioned that I had a great news article and I was like, I don't even want to spoil it. I want to hear your live reaction as I, <laughs> as I read this. Cause this is, well, this is amazing <laughs> on every level. It, it's terrible. What happened? Uh, oh, okay. Well, he, let's, let's just read it. How about this? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's get, let's get, let's get into it. <laughs> so this is from the LA times. <laughs> Topless car wash raises cash for deputies wounded in gun battle at Rastafarian pot farm. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is not the onion. This is not the onion. I, swear, I saw this. 
uh, it was on uh, Carl Smarellis' wall, and I was like, all right, this has to be fake, and I pulled it up, and then I read the article, I was like, this is the best thing I've read all week. <laughs> this is the best thing I've read. Um, wow. Let me read that again, just in case you probably misheard it <laughs> from the sheer shock of it. Topless car wash raises cash for deputies wounded in gun battle at Rastafarian Pot Farm. <laughs> Oh, it's even better the second time. <laughs> wait till the, wait till it wait till it starts. The tops oh. came off and the wallets came out. <laughs> this is how the article started. <laughs> this, this, like we're, we're we're two we're two words in, and this is like Pulitz, Pulitzer level. Yeah. This is Pulitzer level stuff, man. <laughs> A Yuba County strip club feeling particularly philanthropic used its abundant assets. Topless ladies. <laughs> oh, get it? Assets. Assets. Oh, topless. Yeah, get it? I got it. Nice I got little it. pun. Where's Steve Miller Miller when you need him? <laughs> in a weekend car wash to raise money for two sheriff's deputies who were injured in a shootout at a Rastafarian pot farm last month. <laughs> <laughs> the shirtless car wash at City Limits Showgirls in Marysville on Saturday raised 2,000 Five hundred and sixty bucks. That's it. <laughs> Topless yeah, car wash. Only th- not even three grand. How much were they charging? <laughs> not enough. The strip club. Yeah. yeah, this is according to the strip club uh, as they wrote on Facebook. A long line of cars snaked outside of the fundraiser, which was held in a tented parking lot. So they had a huge, huge line of cars with strippers and people wanting to give money. And see boobies, and they can only raise three grand. Well, that's why I'm that's why I'm asking about what they're charging. I mean, if they were doing like a like a like most charity things do do like that, they'll charge a low price. So if they're only charging five bucks a car, I mean that's a, that's not that's a decent turnout. But if they're charging more, then yeah, then now you're talking about a really really a sad state of affairs as far as I'm concerned. I'm disappointed <laughs> in people if that's the case. It was. I think I think maybe a lot of people were turned off by like oh topless. Cart wait, it's it's for helping out some cops that were shot during a pot oh, shootout. You know what? I didn't even think of that aspect. Yeah. <laughs> Screw these guys. They deserved it, you know. Um, I, I, that's I what would they be would conflicted. be saying. I would definitely not say such a thing. I I don't need a rehashing of, of Jeremy's problems, please. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I'm already in enough trouble, so I'll say it. I'd be torn. Okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's like boobies or cops. Exactly. <laughs> I, I would honestly be torn. Yeah, I'll just go to the strip club. <laughs> that's, that's not giving them money. The charity event was held in uh, for Yuba County Sheriff's deputies Philip Bronson and Anthony, Andrew Everhart, who were shot multiple times on August 1st at a Rastafarian church's marijuana farm in Oregon House, a small community northeast of Sacramento. That day, a new worker to the farm was armed with a handgun and started acting erratically, pulling marijuana plants from the ground. Heidi Lept, a reverend at Sugar Leaf Rastafarian Church, said, uh, uh, told some call letters that. Uh, when deputies were when deputies were called to the farm, the man hid and began firing, hitting Bronson and Everhart. The shooter, identified as Anthony Sanchez, 33, of Gilroy, died after being hit from return fire uh, from the wounded deputies, according to the sheriff's department. <laughs> wow. Well, where's, wow. Where's, where's the booby fundraisers for the, the family of this guy that was shot? <laughs> he, did, he did seem like he was a little bit crazy, though. Yeah, who? But who? Because my 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 original thought when you started reading this after I got over the laughter um, was uh, was was why are they why are they at a Rastafarian ranch anyway? Isn't it legal there? Yeah, uh, to grow there. And then, uh, but then as you started saying, I was like, oh, okay. So there was a crazy guy with a gun, essentially. Yeah, what yeah. it so- sounds like, or at least a, at least a somewhat disturbed individual with yeah. a gun. Some guy um, showed up. They were like, oh, you seem like a nice guy. We're Rastafarians. We're all peaceful. Do you want to help out? Okay, cool. Sure. Yeah, you, oh, you, you have could, a gun you, and you're going to start shooting the cops that come by? <laughs> That's... Yeah, but I'm curious. Like, the, the, Was it like the place that called the cops or was it like somebody visiting the place that called the cops? I, I don't know. I don't think it says. Uh, well, we'll see. Oh, uh, okay. I, yeah. I'm sure there's some other news news article that's talking about this. But um, 
So Everhart and Bronson both underwent surgery after the shooting and have since been released from the hospital, said Leslie Carbaugh, spokesperson for the sheriff's office. They are still under medical care and recovering at their home, she said. The sheriff's department said it was not affiliated with the strip club's car wash. Really? <laughs> I love how they had to make that announcement. <laughs> Just to be clear, <laughs> just just getting this out there. Just just want to get this out there. This private strip yeah. club has nothing to do with the government. Just just making yeah, sure yeah. everybody like the government's not running strip clubs. <clears throat> Maybe I would be a status if there was strip. <laughs> That's what the government did. Was like, oh no, we don't we don't we don't enforce contracts. All we do is just you know, strip clubs. <laughs> that might be worth the price of uh, force aggression. <laughs> that might actually be worth it. Uh, Again, about, I'd be torn. <laughs> yeah, I'd be torn. I don't go to strip clubs. I think it's a waste of money. <laughs> if I'm well, pay- see, it's funny. It's funny because when you started talking about that before, I when you said you know you said just go to the strip club instead, uh, I was actually going to say that that would actually be a first. I think the only time I've ever actually been in a strip club was when I went in with a female friend of mine so she could use the bathroom. <laughs> I've never. I don't frequent them. I don't. I, I can't. I'm just trying to rack my brain. Yeah, I think that's the only time to this day yeah. still. I've never actually been in a strip club for you know to you know waste my money yeah the only so. time i've ever gone alone or with like a friend or something like that was like when i first turned 18 and they had i can go to the, the fully nude one and i went there once and i was like that's an interesting experience but i'm not going to do that again <laughs> and then then when i turned 21 i went to the top list one where you can drink at and i was like well it's the same thing except i don't see uh I, I, you know the panties don't come off i, I guess yeah that's, that's a good trade-off but yeah it's not not for me not not my thing <laughs> Um, yeah, and the, not like, mine either. Yeah, the only time I've ever been after that is when um, you know, like girlfriends were like, "Oh, come on, let's go. We got to go to this really trashy one because the girls are ugly and terrible." And like, well, well, that sounds fun. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, just, but yeah. I see. I I never received any of those invites. If I had, I may have gone. <laughs> you know, now this one was it was in Kansas City, and it was it was filthy like you had to like swim through a sea of dudes standing around like video arcades <laughs> you know like basically oh. like kind of like you want to come into the booth with me and we can do stuff together like no we're going upstairs <laughs> and, then, and then upstairs they had the strip club and it was like there was there was two 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 girls that were really attractive and the rest were just like yeah Nah, one st- one actually stank. Like she smelled, <laughs> but it was a really weird experience. It was really trashy. Anyways, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> strip clubs aren't my thing. Uh, porn is yeah. free on the internet. Um, exactly. That, an- another reason. Uh, well, the the fact that porn has been free on the internet for most of the time that I've been old enough to appreciate it, um, <laughs> and and the fact that I've actually had sex pretty damn regularly since that same time frame, um, I've just had no need for it. <laughs> Oh, all right. This is where the, the, it starts getting great now. <laughs> you're, you're, gonna, you're probably going to want to hit that ball a few more times. Um, the sheriff's department said it was not affiliated with the strip club car wash. The department, quote, looked into the legality of the event, unquote. Of course, like, hey, you're raising money for us. Let's make sure that uh, let's let's see if we can find a way to throw you in jail. For <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cops, man. <laughs> See now that's funny. That that was my thought too. But then my, my my second my second thought was was the status reaction, which would be, oh, they're just trying to make sure that they're not gonna get themselves in trouble. But no, no, your 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 scenario is more likely the truth more, more likely to be closer to the truth. Yeah. But they found that it was okay. Um they but they found that it that since it was held in an enclosed space and that identification was checked before any adult can enter, uh it was a quote, legal business promotion, unquote. Quote, while we appreciate the sentiment of support from the business owner, we do not endorse the event. Unquote. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, you, you were just trying to find a way to shut it down, <laughs> but okay. Hale Meyer, the operations uh, manager for City Limit Showgirls, said uh, he hoped. Hale, Hale Myers. There we go. Hale. <laughs> ah, sorry. Got that? I, I swear, you're the only one smoking here. Uh, he says, <laughs> said he hopes that the deputies' families could use the money. Uh, sheriff's officials, quote, don't promote it, but they didn't condone it. This this one was bothering me. 
Should, should, yeah, should, but but they didn't. Shouldn't that be condemn it then? I didn't. Re- I didn't misread that. No, I know, but that that yeah. would make more sense in that sense. I'm, <laughs> yeah, not, I'm not crazy, I did right? Okay. It. They don't promote it, but they didn't condone it. It's like we don't. We don't, usually it's like the opposite thing, you know. Like we don't, you know, we don't say it's bad. We say it's pretty good, you know, but we don't say it's good, you know. <laughs> we don't say yeah. it's bad, but we don't say it's good. You're supposed to have like conflicting things. Maybe she misworded it. Uh, they don't promote it, and they didn't condone it. I think that's what she meant to say. Um, most of the deputies, uh, most of the deputies and people that have spoken to. The, uh, we have spoken to on an individual basis. Meyer told KCRA before the event, quote, some of them are even bringing their own vehicles through. (laughs) (laughs) (sighs) But they're not endorsing it, right? (laughs) They're just participating and trying to shut it. They tried to shut it down. Then they were like, ah, screw it. Boobies. (laughs) 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 If people gave larger donation, they got a longer wash. uh, Mayor told the Sacramento Bee. One of the dancers who planned to participate in the car wash, Ty- Talina K- Kicker, that's definitely a stripper name because uh, I can't pronounce it, uh, was, asked by his t- uh, was asked by a TV reporter if she had ever washed a car before. Quote, no, actually, I haven't. Unquote, she said. <laughs> Shocker. Bones. You're a pretty girl with a stripper's body. Why the hell would you have ever washed yeah. a car before? <laughs> just just take it to the terrible hearse. Just, just let him hose it off for you. Jesus Christ. She volunteered to do the car wash, she said, because it uh, because the deputies make the dancers feel safe while they're at work. Oh. Strip club's Facebook oh, page honey. is filled oh, with thankful honey. comments. Uh Quote, thank you for your community spirit, unquote, said one one woman posted. Great job, ladies. Quote, I'm a retired cop, unquote. A man, a man wrote, quote, thank you for putting the effort to help. Your hearts are golden. And they had to correct the, the spelling error from this guy. Because <laughs> what he well, meant he to say a, was, he, I thank you for putting cop. forth the effort to help. And they put a little, you know, sick thing. Yeah. Your hearts are uh, golden. Oh, so touching. I, I don't think they. I don't think he was too interested in their. <laughs> yeah, in their, I don't uh, either. Their but... hearts, but j- the same general region <laughs> as the heart, uh, just more out external. But man, that's the greatest story I've read in a long time. <laughs> that is that that is amazing. Um, I'm still walking away from it though. I'm still torn though because it's like. <laughs> They didn't mention you know, anything about the pot farm. Like, what was going on no. with the pot farm? Why did that? Why did these deputies even show up at the beginning? Well, no, they sh- we, sh- we 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 did cover that. They showed up because some crazy guy had a gun. Well, no, he said that he was working there. Okay, so what what it said was there was a guy um, who. Well, yeah, no, well, yeah, they didn't say who there. called. So yeah, so I don't know. I don't know what's what's happening here. I'm sure there's. Okay, so there's another uh, news article that it's linking to. Here we go. I'm, it's going to auto play a video. I know uh, it's going to auto play it. Don't you dare. Two Yuba's sheriff's deputies recovering after a gun battle with Rastafarian Pot Farm. Like, I, I want to see what the next story is about this because, like, or, <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Was that the whole headline? That's a horrible headline. Yeah. Two Yuba they, 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 they had a gun battle with the entire farm. I know. Come man, on. Sorry. Two Yuba sheriff's deputies recovering after a gun battle with man. Oh, at okay. Rastafarian pot farm. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> that's, a with the, that's just Rastas? that's just blatant. <laughs> well, well, and everything I read, get your got, man. Right? No, that is not happening. <laughs> it's, it's definitely this. Um, I don't feel like reading this thing. Yeah, I don't blame you. Um, well, whatever. I'm sure somebody somebody had to have called them. I'm I'm pretty sure they wouldn't have just shown up just because there was a there happened to be a guy on the premises. I mean, I'm I'm assuming if it's a okay. pot farm, it's a rather large acreage. Yeah, they said that the man was so I guess it was a worker, a, yeah. a new guy, and he started acting erratically and started uh, and he and he had a gun and he started pulling out the pot plants from the ground. So I'm guessing that they were like, oh, this dude's fucking nuts. Call the cops. Yeah, that, that makes sense. So, yeah, because why else would you want to invite the cops to your pot farm? I can't imagine a very good, another good reason for it at all. 
This but is an amazing story. I want to hear what the is. next one because the 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 first headline is is good enough. Like if I would have saw this a couple of weeks ago or whatever, I would have been like, "We got to talk about this." And then the next one is like, well, that whole scenario plus strippers. <laughs> What's the next story? <laughs> I really want to know what the next one is. Is it clowns? <laughs> midget clowns like midget clown topless midget clowns raise money. Please, it would God, have to be. That'd be so. great. <laughs> topless midget clowns get on this but see, I, <laughs> I'm, I'm still torn on this though i i i don't know if i would have wanted I, I don't know if i would have wanted to actually donate money to this particular cause but i guess i i can't be upset about <laughs> them actually doing it because while it was going to two cops people were voluntarily giving their own money right yeah. so and it was a private it was a private entity that started that that was that was you know providing the service so uh, yeah so torn on this but the story itself is amazing you're right it's amazing yeah i don't know if this if the car wash would have been a fun endeavor anyway cuz you know how like strip clubs they always play like really crappy like music it's, it's always hair metal too have you noticed that like when you go to a strip club it's always like oh we're going to play poison and queens rike and all that crap you know so i've heard yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't, and, well, I mean, the one, the one, the one that I did walk into it, it that it was definitely playing then. I know that yeah. <laughs> people who listen to that stuff on ironically are just, just horrible people. I mean, thank God for grunge, right? Cause grunge killed all that stuff and got us real yes. music, you know, and yeah. say what you want about Kurt Cobain. He did, he did kill uh, hair metal and he also did kill Kurt Cobain. So it was, <laughs> it was a twofer. Oh, man. Oh, that's got to be wrong on yeah. some level. You know what? I guess I think it was maybe an, I think secretly it may have been like an anti uh, Kurt Cobain joke that probably got me fired from the scene to begin with. <laughs> but anyways, that's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Well, some people are a little sensitive about their music. Yeah, a little sensitive about their music. And their movies. Like some people actually like The Matrix. Like <laughs> all three of them. It doesn't make any sense to me. <sighs> I don't know. I I still kind of dig the first one, but yeah, the, I could do without the other two. Here, I've seen it. I will say, out, out of all the three, I think I liked the second one the most, and it was because like I didn't like the story of the first one. I mean, it was it was kind of an interesting concept, but it's it's been done before. Yeah, I know. But, I just like the way they did it. Right. So yeah. yeah. Kind of and like, the bullet time was interesting until like every movie, like every movie copied it, even making fun of it. They were doing it over and over and over again. It's like, come on, we've already made the bullet time joke. Can we move on? So oh like, yeah. That kind of helped date it a little bit. But the second one, I was not really interested in the story anymore. Cause I was like, well, the first one was dumb, but I, don't, I liked it because of the special effects. At the time, they were innovative. Now they're dated. But but the second one, like, it, it was just nonstop action fighting and kicking. And once in a while, they would start, you know, with the pseudo uh, philosophical kind of rantings. But there was a lot more action going on in that one. And it was great. And, but, yeah. but the third one, it was just like, this was so dumb. Like, the second one, you like, there was like a million Agent Smiths fighting one Neo. But the grand finale of the film was. A one-on-one -on -one battle. <laughs> yeah, they, they definitely <laughs> think they. I think they worked that backwards. <laughs> yeah. Didn't think you think that one through all the way, but then again, the Matrix doesn't yeah. make sense anyway. No, not not right. Well, yeah, like I said, I've I've watched them. I think I actually own all three on DVD, but I haven't watched them in years. So <laughs> they just sit there collecting just, dust with. Just watch the, the of first one again. If it's been a while, go and watch it again. You'll you'll be like, wow, <laughs> it really wasn't that good. Maybe I'll just believe in the hype. Let me see if I can't get these. Um... Oh Jesus! Now they're, they're rearranging everything on me. You know what? Like I, I can't stand it when YouTube rearranges stuff. But this last one that they did was actually pretty good. It was like the first time I was like, oh, this is great. But every every other time something gets rearranged, I'm just I just don't know what to do. Amazon, what are you doing? And how come I'm leaking? I'm leaking. I can hear myself. This is uh, they make they, make they 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 uh they make diapers for that, Jim. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, geez. Amazon, what are you doing? What are you doing? Fuck Amazon, man. They're <laughs> fucking bastards. 
I dude, what I find, your, I find, you tell me what your problem with Amazon is because you mentioned it and I and I just what happened. I just I just I, I finally like we had a, an Amazon affiliate link a long time ago for the Seas of Liberty podcast, and uh, my 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 buddy Dave was was in charge of most of that stuff, and uh, he just gave up on it after a while because he's like, we're not making enough any like any money off of this. Screw it. So we just shut the whole thing down, and we didn't have one for a while. And multiple people recently have asked me if I had one. Um, even like a personal one so they could find different ways to try to help me out of my um, incredibly increasingly shitty situation here in New York. Um, and I was like, all right, sure. I'll, you know, I'll, I'll try to set one up and, you know, they, you know, you're supposed to link it to some web page, and I'm like, well, the only one I currently have now is the Seeds of Liberty page because <laughs> I've, I've, I, I, I nuked my, uh, my, 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 uh, my company's website a while back. And, uh, so I hooked I hooked it up to our new site because we have a new URL and everything because Dave you know lost our domain because <laughs> he he dropped the ball and he lost our original it was domain. Pro- it was probably for the best. Um, yeah, it was it's probably shorter for the best. now. It's great. Well, not just the uh, domain. I mean, like well, the website. Well, no, get, I, know, I know the just, website. Just but, start fresh. Just get yeah. rid of that thing. Just pretend it never happened. <laughs> My naps. Uh, I were totally hey, man, violated I, by that. Uh, I, 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 as you know what, I own my shit and, and that was shit. So, you know, even though I, even though I didn't put no, it together, I'm, I'm, I'm going to come, I'm no, I'm putting the blame squarely on Dave because I can, I usually put the blame on for pretty much everything on Dave. Okay. Um, so. but this one, this, this one, I have to accept some responsibility because I let it go for so long. I was just like, and, and trusted him to fix it, you know? So those, those were both on me, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but anyway, so I finally set this Amazon affiliate link up. And I give the information to my my new webmaster, uh, Mr. Paul Gordon, uh, who was who's who was kind enough to uh, let us um, run all of our stuff off of, off of his server for the time being. And, and he's a really good guy, but he, he's got like this weird fascination with baking bacon. I'm a bacon baker as well. I'm, so. I, I I can I I I both. I'm by I guess <laughs> when it comes to bacon. I I can do both, <laughs> and I'm not opposed. I'm not opposed to eating Good. it either way. Just but for convenience sake of my own, when I cook it for myself yeah, and my family and my family, I bake it here. Um, Get you a yeah, man that can no. do both. Go yeah. on. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, Paul, Paul, Paulie is a great guy, though. I've, I've, I had the opportunity to hang out with him this year in Michigan, uh, so we got to finally meet for the first time after knowing each other for a few years. So it was great. Yeah, but anyways, anyway, Amazon. So yeah, so I gave the information to him to put to put the link up on the site, but I, you know, I told him no rush because I had the actual link that I could give to the people who had specifically asked me for this thing. So I had go ahead and give it to him, and uh, they they all make some orders. And a couple of days later, I'm getting emails going, hey, man, just uh, you know, just want to make sure I check your stats. I want to make sure it actually, you know, credited you and stuff. And I'm like, all right. And I checking and nothing. And it's showing orders, but it's showing zero under the shift. Nah. Um, and I'm waiting and waiting. And no matter how many times I like it, it seem, always seems to be a day behind whenever I check it. Um, you know, the what it says on the on the on the on the Amazon site, it's like, a, you know, so I'm like, all right, I'll just check the next night. And uh Today, I got like another email saying, hey, you know, it, you know, I, you should check again. It's, you know, I got the thing yesterday, so it should definitely be, you know, it not only has it been shipped, it arrived at my house. Went and checked, still nothing. So I write it, I, I write, you know, the, their little, um, whatchamacallit, uh, you know, their help section where you can write to them and ask questions. So I did. And I was like, I don't understand. I've got like 14 order. I've got 14 things ordered. Um, you know, 85 clicks or whatever, and like 14 things ordered, but nothing shipped. And I know for a fact that things arrived. Um, and, uh, you know, I know a couple of those orders were accidental ones by me. I forgot, you know, I was, I was testing things out and I ended up having to order and I forgot that I was still using my link. Right. Yeah. And I'm like, I get that, you know, I get those ones shouldn't count, but these other ones. So I get an email back from them saying the reason that I didn't is all my orders have been flagged as either being me or me or somebody I know. And I'm like, number one, how the hell do you know who I know? <laughs> and number two, like some of the a couple of these people were legitimate like fans of my podcast that like I, you know, asked me for this and I got it to them. And we just happen to like we've become like friendly over the years. So like we're connected on Facebook, I guess. But I'm like, so they they've just flat out refused to give me credit for anything people are ordering with my link. <laughs> 
<laughs> sucks. And I'm like, you've, you've got to be kidding me. Like, I, I, here I am in a position of that, you know, my company's officially closing on Saturday. Um, I'm probably going to keep working for a few select clients uh, for the foreseeable future just because I don't have really have a choice because I'm stuck here because the court thing and I need money. Um, but I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to open up every possible revenue stream I can. And Avenue, Amazon is just currently shitting on me. And I'm like, I give these motherfuckers so much goddamn money. <laughs> Because I order from there constantly for my kids, uh, you know, like uh, it's just so frustrating. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I have Amazon Prime, but I like, and I'm like, I really need to use it. And then I'm just like, oh, yeah. no, I want to go to the store and see it in person. And then when I'm I there, I'm Prime like, well, I'm already fucking here. <laughs> I have Prime. I, I I have Prime too, and it and I always say it's so worth the hundred dollars I spend every year because just yeah. on shipping alone, it's it's totally worth it for me. Yeah, I just don't order enough to. But then, you know, the, the streaming stuff, I, I catch myself watching now because it's like, oh, all my cur- all the Kirby enthusiasm is right there. Yeah, I'm drunk. Let's do it. <laughs> like, because I don't I don't want to I don't want to watch new things when I'm drunk. I want to watch like things I'm familiar with. <laughs> you know? That's, hey, that's pretty much what at, I do. Man. Yeah. I mean, I watch some news. I watch those all those new Marvel shows on Netflix, but that's just because I have a superhero fascination. Um, oh, have you seen but- The Tick yet? No, uh-huh. <laughs> it's you the know, best I, thing. I, on I Prime. heard you talking about it's that. The best I still thing on Prime. The I best. still like. I never got wow. into any of any of the any of the tick iterations. Uh, like I remember them. I remember the original cartoon. I remember the thing with Patrick Warburton. Like, but I just never got into them. <laughs> yeah, I don't even think I've ever watched a single episode of any of it. I was. I was a huge fan of the cartoon. Like anytime it came on, I watched it religiously. I've seen, I seen every episode when it was aired. <laughs> like I was that obsessed with that show. It was so great. And then they announced that they were doing a live one like years later. And I was like, Oh, thank God. They're, you know, they're bringing it back. And, yeah. and I'm, I'm, I'm hearing myself again. <laughs> you probably might want to turn your echo uh, cancellation off. I thought uh, I had that off. But... Oh, Mm. I'll check. Mm. I'll check. Anyways, while you're checking, um, so I was like super stoked when they were like, "Okay, we're a live action one. That's gonna be great." And then I saw the pilot for it, and I was like, "Oh, this is fantastic!" And then like, there was kind of rumors circulating that like they were gonna put it in a crappy time slot, and they were gonna release it on a you know a bad time. I can't remember what it was, but I remember the the Clerks cartoon had the same kind of story. Um, they 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 picked up the show and then they saw the 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 pilot after they picked up the show and then they were like oh this is really raunchy and offensive let's stick it <laughs> let's let's not give it you know because I guess it it's kind of like movies you know like if you release a movie in January no one's gonna go see it but if you release a movie like in the summer everybody's gonna go see it if you release a movie on Christmas that not only are everybody gonna go see it but like the Academy is gonna start paying more attention to it. Um, so that's yes. when you get the really good movies. So it's the kind of same thing on TV. If like, if you, but I think it's like reverse. So like, people don't really watch new shows that come out during the summer. And I think these two shows came out during the summer, if I recall correctly. Or yeah, the, yeah. The 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 late spring into summer. That's definitely supposed to be the dead time of TV. Yeah. I, I do remember that because my sister is in TV, has been in TV for a long time, and yeah, it's definitely that's that's when they that's usually when they test out all those shows that like if you happen to catch any of them and like them, you're almost assured that you're never going to see it again. Yeah. <laughs> And so, like, you can kind of tell, like, the rest of the shows, they were just kind of like, hey, we're going to get canceled. Let's just let's just not embarrass ourselves. You know, let's don't don't put too much effort into it because no one's going to see this and we'll just get get through this and find other work. And that's kind of what what happened because it got canceled. I don't even think all the episodes aired. But I remember watching like the first episode, like the pilot, and it was great. I was it was funny. The second one, I was like, "Eh." the third one, I was like, I'm out. And I didn't watch it. There was a couple, one or two more episodes that aired, and I was just like, I'm not interested. It's not good. <laughs> you could totally tell they weren't putting their heart into it. So when this one came yeah. out, I was like, oh, hell yeah. You know, and they're actually putting <laughs> some effort into it. And, you know, it's it's uh, it's bingeable, so. Nah. Nah. Really happy with it. It's 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 oh, on par. Good. I think I actually enjoy it more than the cartoon because the cartoon is more like episodic. Like here's everything that happens in one show, where this is like the whole season is going to be about the terror. <laughs> it's great. Love ah, it. Ah, okay. Ten out of ten. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'm I'm really trying to get away from watching stuff. I've been binge watching way too many things lately. But like that's what I you because you started to say you like to like things you like to watch things you're familiar with. I'm other than the the new Marvel stuff that I watched. Um, for the most part, I'm usually the same way. Like I watch shows that I've watched. You know, I wait a couple of years and then try watching them again. <laughs> and uh, or I'll just binge. You know, there's certain shows that I can just I can just you know. I'm one of those people who can f- sit in front of the TV and binge watch. Uh, well, because I can half pay attention to things like uh, How I Met Your Mother, which uh, I, w- I was actually a big fan of. So hmm. I watch stuff like that over and over yeah. and over again. I'm, I'm really bad when it comes to new movies. Like 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 the movies that everybody is supposed to go out and go see, I don't see. Like there's occasional ones. Like I went and saw Wonder Woman and it was mostly because like so many people were telling me to go see it that I knew. And mm-hmm. um and there was a lot of controversy because everybody was like, this is feminist trife. And I was like, I'm not buying it. I'm not. No, I'm not buying it. I can't, it can't possibly be right. I don't think they'd be that stupid. And I went and saw it and it wasn't feminist tripe. I was like, you guys are just tripping. You just, <laughs> you guys are just so wrapped up in this stuff that, you know, it, you know, what is, what is it like every, every, uh, when you, all you have is a hammer, everything is a nail. Right. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like I remember when the Avengers came out, and everybody was like, "You have to go see the Avengers." When the first one came out, and I was like, mm-hmm. yeah, "I'll get around to it. Yeah, I'll get around to it. Looks good." And I was really kind of in, you know, I really wanted to see it, but I was just like, "Yeah, I'll get around to it eventually." Oh shit! Three Stooges. Three, <laughs> I'm fucking there. Opening night. I was there. <laughs> I was in my theater the first night it aired. I was there. I'm just weird like that. And then uh, I, I just. Yes, today. Excuse me. Like this morning, I just saw John Wick, the first one, for the first time. <laughs> like I'm just like I'm just that late I, to the party. Always. I, I still I still haven't watched that one yet either. It's fucking great. It's I, I, fucking. Great. Everybody tells me that, and I I I kept I keep saying I want to watch it, and I have uh, a copy that I of course got legally. Um, of course, somewhere. of course, and uh, and uh, it's uh, you know it's I've had it actually. I think I have both. I have a copy of both. You know, both legally obtained, of course. But yeah. I, I have. I don't both even of them. own a VPN. What are you talking haven't about? Haven't got, haven't got around to it. Uh, it's one of those things that I keep saying, "Yeah, I'm going to watch that," but then I end up falling back on because for, for like movies, a lot of the times I watch towards the end of the night where I know there's a, a chance I'm going to fall asleep during it, and I'd much rather have uh, you know something I've seen before, so I don't even have to watch it. Like I can, mm-hmm. you know be laying in the other direction and just listening to it and be quite happy. Um, but if it's something I haven't seen before, I obviously, you know, I have to pay attention. <laughs> well, the, the whole, I can, I can explain the whole John Wick story. And like, when you first start watching it and you get the, the idea of what's going to happen, you're like, I already know how it's going to end, but I don't care because it's fantastic. There's nothing really to spoil because you know what's going to happen. And not only that, but you also know there's a sequel. So you know who's going to win. Well, yeah. So, <laughs> but, um, yeah, like it's it's just about this guy who uh, who had a, who had a wife, uh, and then like she she somehow died, and you don't know. They explain it later. It's really kind of um, anyways. Uh, and she died, and before she died, she gave him a gift of a little puppy, uh, and it didn't get to her him a- until after she was already dead, and the funeral was over. And so he got like the, he got this little mail order puppy, and he was like so happy and was learning to love it and everything. And then he met some dude at a gas station and he, he you know, like he, he busted, tried to steal his car and, and killed his dog. And now he's out for revenge. Like that's the story. Uh, and they know what's going to happen. He gets revenge, <laughs> but the, everything, but all the action sequences and the whole kind of journey that he takes, it's just so badass. The whole thing is just great. <laughs> well, I so you don't really need to think about it. it. You can drink, you can watch it, you know, drunk there you go. or right. stone. I'll, I'll, I'll give it <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah it's not one of those movies you have to think it's like all the good things that you would like from the matrix if it was a good movie and just take out all the bad stuff <laughs> all the pseudo philosophy just kick that all to the side just give us action sequences that's what matters yeah, yeah. guy right. just wants well. his wife and his dog back <laughs> What's, or actually his wife and his car or no excuse me his dog and his car it's almost like a country yeah. song, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the guy lost his wife, his car, and his dog. Or it's been a picked up truck if it was a country song. True. Yeah. <laughs> so let's uh, talk about... Let, 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 yeah. We should probably get into this because it's been a month. 
and it's time to do the Amazon Associates thing where we read off because there's no other podcast that does this. Like, there's no as far as I know, there's no other podcast that does this. And if there is, it's probably a terrible one. Uh, I mean, I think, the, I think the only saving grace would be like if he had like, you know, like a really intelligent girlfriend there to save it. Um, yeah. That'd be the only way a podcast would be good that does this. But it, uh, and, and of course us. Uh, so we should talk about some of the things that people have bought. By the way, we don't know what you buy if you go to shop.lowberts.com. But that supports the show. I guess it doesn't really support the show because I take gift card money and then I end up just buying a deep fryer. <laughs> So uh, there's that. But if you want to help me buy my next, you know, stupid thing, like a, like a deep fryer, um, go to shop.alberts.com, I guess. Uh, and then we'll read off what you bought. But unfortunately, we won't know who bought it. I, there is one thing I know who bought. I do know. Or two things. Um, mm-hmm. So we'll get in. We'll talk about that. Um, only because they told me. So if you buy something and you tell me, I'll, I'll probably mention you, your name if I think it's interesting. So Kirkland signature drosting kitchen trash bags, 13 gallon, 200 count, man, really good stuff. Yeah. It's a whole lot of bags. Yeah. It's a whole lot of bags. You know what you can do with all those trash, how many dead bodies you can, you can dispose with with all those. Not that I, not that I know. (laughs) Well, it, it depends on the thickness of the bags and uh, never mind. I've said too much. Yeah. Um, Is, will it, will lie burn through it? Uh, <laughs> hold on. Let's scratch that. Hold on. Let me let me erase that. Let me, let me go to the tour. Let me go to the tour network before yeah. I look back. <laughs> <laughs> then I have an AC Affinity Airplate Quiet Cooling System uh, for home theater AV cabinets. So it's basically a computer uh, fan. It's a computer. Keep your fan. Uh, keep electronics cool. Yeah. Gotcha. Seems pretty nifty. See, I wish I could do this type of stuff on my show. Unfortunately, apparently, I'm not allowed <laughs> to have anybody purchase well, anything. You get that my... all sorted. You 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 get you you clean up your room. What, what <laughs> Jordan Peterson, right? Clean up your room. Get 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 yourself sorted out. Uh, and then and then, <laughs> and then when, once you do, then people can stop going shopping through me, and then they can go to you. Ah, uh, whatever. I just if we, if we sort it out at this point, I may have a- aggravated them enough because. I basically told them that their response to me because they're like, "How is this? You know, how do you rate this response?" I'm like, "It was garbage," and then you know, additional comments, and well, I let them know what I thought. So, <laughs> Munchkin Click Lock Bite Proof Sippy Cup, pink and green, a must have for the uh... for, for recording. <laughs> yes, I mean, exactly. You know, I know a lot of people are probably like, "Oh, someone has a kid." Like, no, no. Think about all the times Michael Dean has told everybody. If you're recording a podcast and you have audio equipment, for fuck's sake, get yourself a sippy cup. Oh, my God. I spilled coffee everywhere. Hold on. I'll talk to you guys later. (laughs) How many times have you done that? Yep. I laugh every time. And then we have Tamarack Technologies Return Air Pathways. It looks like. uh, Oh, no. Those are those little little vent things that go on your house uh, for the air conditioner. Uh, you guys buy okay. boring shit. Like, where, where's like the anal butt plugs with vibrating chassis, whatever? I don't, I don't do, know. Do they sell those on Amazon? Yeah, they sell all. Dude, they sell all kinds of crazy sex shit. I don't like. I, I can't remember the last time I went shopping for sex toys with with anybody, but I, 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 I don't think I ever would have thought to shop on that. Like, that wouldn't be my first go to. <laughs> some people do. Some people do buy that stuff. Like. Well, I mean, last time gift, there was some. If you have gift things. cards, what else are you going to spend it on? I mean, yeah, but now we're getting like sippy cups, trash bags. Well, you know, I mean, would it would it be nice to have more exciting stuff? Sure, but I mean, I guess you could take you could you could if you wanted to take some solace in the fact that people are using your link even to buy the most mundane things on their list. Oh yeah, I'm. Oh, by the way, keep buying this stuff because it's kind of interesting. Because I'm sure, like, there's going to be some mundane things. I was like, wait, that that's a thing? I can do that? This is going to change my life forever. I'm sure there's, like, some, oh, I could cool off my 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 thing just like a computer fan. I was just going to buy a computer fan, but this thing is built for that. 
but no, I'm, yeah. not, I'm, I'm not interested. <laughs> I'm just pretending. Uh, so <laughs> someone bought a, a grill for the said air plate thing that cools your electronic or your entertainment system, and it's in white. It's Hugh White. <laughs> oh, see, look at that. Multiple items, too. Even, even Oh, more. my God. I think I know who bought this. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> but someone bought a wine key. By the way, I didn't even see this one. Where is my wine key? It's the same wine key that I have. It's the one that I recommend to everybody when they buy it. So someone bought it. And the only person I remember rec- re- recommending it recently is actually a, a friend. Uh, I know a friend of yours. Um, uh. Yeah, wine keys. You need to have a wine key. Throw away your corkscrew. It's garbage. You need to get on the wine key tip. Best thing what is, ever. What, what, what is a wine key? So a wine key. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. So a wine key is a, uh, it's, 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 it basically has a little corkscrew on it, but it's not like one of those corkscrews that looks like a little robot. Uh, it's just, it looks like a pocket knife almost. And it has a little oh. knife on one side. And on the other side, it has like a little, um, a little, I guess it's a little lever. And then it has a little corkscrew. And you, what you do is you you twist it. It looks like a T. And then you bend the little thing down. You you put it on the edge, the lip of the, the glass bottle, and you just pull it out halfway. And then you click to the other part and pull it out the other halfway. It's a whole lot faster and a whole lot quicker and a whole lot easier and a whole lot more portable than a corkscrew. Huh, and it comes with a bottle opener. I think I think I actually have seen those. I didn't know that was the term for it, yeah, though. It's, but it's a... I, it's really great, <laughs> by the way. Like, if you don't have one, like, I recommended this thing. And whoever I know who, I'll have to ask them. I, I, I don't drink enough wine to need one of those. I, 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 I still have two bottles of, I don't even know what kind of reds they are, that clients gave me last Christmas, possibly the Christmas before, <laughs> as part of my tip. Uh, they just sit there. They're, uh, they're, they're, no, they're not sitting there. You're cellaring them. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I know. Well, I normally when I was into wine, there was no cellaring going on around here. It was just all drank relatively quickly. Uh, that's not know. being into wine. That's that's being a wino. <laughs> There's a difference. <laughs> I just like the taste of wine, you know. Yeah. And, so this uh, is this is a Bavario Barvivo. Sorry, Barvivo. That's kind of a weird name. It's Bar- Barvivo Professional Waiter's Corkscrew. And it's, uh, I, I got the, uh, I think I got the rosewood one. It's very sexy. It's rosewood. And you get a different, different color handles. Dude, uh, the, yeah, these, these things are brilliant. I love it. So there was, I, f- I found out what this other thing was. Cause the last time we were saying like, there was, there was some weird thing that I clicked on and it says, oops, when I clicked it, it says, sorry, we couldn't find that page. And where I was sitting there wondering like, what the heck is this? And it was just a weird title. Uh-huh. And then uh, my buddy was like, you know, that I know in real life, he was like, oh, no, that was me. I, I was testing something. Apparently, your link works for Audible. So if you if you have an Audible account and you want to buy a book on there, if you go through the Lulberts, shop.lulberts.com, I'll get a cut. So that's neat. So that's new. And he bought a, uh, a perfect union of contrary contrary things. And I don't know what that is because when I click the link, I don't get anything. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sure it's a. It's a book of some kind. I wonder if I Google it, if it'll tell me what it is. It's probably a good idea. Uh, oh, it's by oh oh it's it's by Maynard uh, Maynard James Keenan from Tool, the lead singer of Tool. The Tool dude. Nice. Yeah. And he and he, he he's on he's really into wine. In fact, he owns a winery. This is true. Yes, yeah. he does. I haven't had his stuff, but I've I've heard some people say it's good. I don't yeah. know. So I'm guessing this is my buddy again buying another book. <laughs> Because I know he likes Tool, and he he told me he, he's buying the Audible stuff, and then a Zoom H2 Handy Recorder. Ah, yeah, that was Baron because he's 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 going to start doing his own podcast. Um, he's going to try to start up his podcast, restart up his podcast again, Centopia. So we'll see how that goes. So he bought himself a recorder, and this is the one that I, re- I recommended. I think this is actually a used one, which is how much? What, how much are those things going for right now? This one, uh, one sixty. How much is a, a... how much is what one hundred and sixty dollars? Oh, one one sixty. I, I you yeah. cut out for a second, so I heard only six. That's not too bad. 
I'm definitely I'm definitely not in the market for anything at the moment. Yeah. I'm trying to sell stuff actually. It and the, the, the microphones that come on these things are like really good, but they're um they're not dynamic mics. They're really I think they're what are they? Cardioid. Uh the cardioid is one that I have that I'm using right now. Which is good because if a dog barks next door, it's not gonna pick it up. It'll pick up my air conditioner, unfortunately. <sighs> That's I don't, pain, I don't do takes. I don't do takes. I don't do second takes. Don't do it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I don't, I, don't, I don't do second takes either. I just edit. <laughs> Whatever. Five built-in microphones. Four different recording modes. So, oh, this one, this one does like complete surround. Mine does it too, I think. Uh, anyways, this is kind of like the upgraded version of the one that I got. I got mine as a gift from, uh, well, not as a gift. I basically paid for shipping and then like 20 bucks or something. And I was like, oh, that's really awesome from Ben Stone. And I was like, oh, I'll promote whatever you got. And then he had room that's for freedom. For a while. <laughs> for a while. <laughs> allegedly. <laughs> Until it was ruined by someone. <laughs> Yeah, Had yeah, but it records it like while. sometimes I'll because because now on my Patreon I'm doing like new content every day. Mostly it's like you know Patreon only stuff. Uh, Lol, this little birds episode is gonna be one of them. It's gonna be day sixteen, I believe. I'm on day sixteen, doing stuff every single day, and sometimes it's really kind of like I'll use my phone in my car. That's what the the most of them are because I'm driving. Yeah. Um but when I'm sitting Makes at sense. home. You know, and I don't want to set up my microphones and all that stuff. I'll just hit record on this thing and just talk into it. And it sounds great. Love these things. And you can get yeah. your own at shop.lowbirds.com. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the best you're going to get for an advertisement out of me. <laughs> that and room for freedom. That's it. That wor- hey, it works, man. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I've wanted I've wanted one of those ever since I think it was Breath of Knots that I saw like in person for the first time and I was like, oh, I really want to get one of those and then just never got around to it. And yeah. Now uh but buying buying new equipment to do more podcasts than more more content that's not getting me any money is probably not the best idea right now. Yeah. <laughs> what you should do is buy more sterner flags from me. I yeah. hope you're not trying to uh, sell that. <laughs> Don't sell no, that. no, 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 no. <laughs> Not, I'm, I'm, I'm not at the point of selling any of my personal effects yet. Like, there's a bunch of like old, uh, well, like you know, the kid, the kid stuff that they're too big for, and like all that stuff that, you know, the big, the toys and all that junk that, uh, hopefully can get some money. Whatever, whatever, whatever stuff I have for my business, which isn't much, like dog cages and stuff like that. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm not that desperate yet. <laughs> But Amazon yeah. isn't helping. No, they're not. Have you figured out where you're moving to yet? Have you picked a state? I know you were talking about Ohio for a while. Well, no, that's that's another part of the whole thing. Like everything kind of got because uh, the uh, the girl I had been seeing off and on, kind of that uh, I was supposed to go, I was supposed to be going to, into business that I was supposed to be going into business with. Um, we ended up having like a, a falling out for a while. And I had to uh, kind of start changing things on the fly, and uh, that, and then uh, you know we, we've since so, so sort of reconciled, but it's uh, my my ex has not been able to find uh, work uh, concentrating in the Ohio and Western Pennsylvania area, so it's it's been long enough. I was just like, screw it, you got to expand your search. We're, we're, we like, our next move, unfortunately, may not be my my last one which i was kind of hoping this was kind of like i was kind of hoping i was going to get to where i was going to go and set up shop and you know if anything have to rent for like a year or two until i can actually purchase the farm and get things going but uh now now i may need to take a a, a pit stop somewhere just wherever we can find her work so yeah. uh we can we can afford to uh you know so i can afford to be a stay-at-home dad for a little while and you know she can make up to me with <laughs> for at least a little bit what she took away from me <laughs> So, have you, have, you so decided, yeah, we, have you have you put any more thought about what you're going to farm? Are you going to have a stud uh, farm? Look at me, Dad. I'm a farmer. <laughs> you have to see that movie, man. It's the greatest, I know the it's, greatest. It's another... it's, like Citizen Kane, overrated. Freddy got fingered. The best. Mwah. I know you've you've told me enough times. I'll, I'll watch it eventually. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> but uh, I, I still, unless I end up having to go further south, um, and again, that would be out of necessity. And then I don't know if we get comfortable there or something. But I really don't. I'm trying to avoid that. Um, I'm still, I still want to do bison uh, at some point. Bison so is awesome. Yeah, and uh, you know whatever vegetables and whatever other crap that I can get. That's you know that there there's a market need. You know a need in the market for. Um, so I could be like everybody else who goes, you know, out to the farmers markets and restaurants and tries to set up, you know, like Nick does out in Oregon. And, uh, a couple of, I mean, I have a bunch of friends who are doing this stuff in Ohio. <laughs> That's why it was going to be so convenient. But, you know, I've expanded the search. Uh, Indiana has come up, uh, you know, because there's obviously when with, my, with my kids involved. There's obviously, uh, you know, priorities I have to look at as far as what like bullshit laws I'm going to have to put up with. Mm. and uh so you know for me and my ex obviously the kids are the priority so you know homeschooling unschooling laws um are obviously very very high on the list and she brought me a bunch of information recently that uh, according to like multiple homeschooling unschooling groups it's uh, like indiana is actually one of the top the top states in the country to like they pretty much just that you don't even really have to check in with them like it's just like you have to sign off on it oh you want to educate your kid oh good luck man see you later yeah <laughs> You know, so like totally what we wanted that we can, you know, so we don't have to deal with any of that um, checking in and taking their bullshit tests that they, you know, to see that they uh, um, are proficient enough. Yeah, I remember when I was uh, in high school, like there was a point where I was just like, I just want to homeschool. And the battle to get that done was just, it was completely uphill because it was like, oh, you, you are you, you is this for religious reasons? Yep. No. Oh, well. Uh, they were just like, we don't know what to do. Like most people want to homeschool because like, you know, religious, they want to do like religious teaching. And my parents were like, no, we're atheists. Or my dad was a de is a deist. You know, my mom just doesn't care. <laughs> she says that she's a Christian, but I just generally think she just doesn't care. And she just says that just to leave me alone. <laughs> so, I mean, like <laughs> religion was not in our household at all. And so, yeah. like, kind of explaining that to 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 the to the school, they were like, I don't know about all this. And then finally, we fought and we got it done. And it was like every semester, it was we had to do the same fight again to stay stay on. It just eventually got to the point where we're like, yeah, fuck it. Well, yeah, yeah it's it's insane. And I mean, they they made they, they, this they is California, make it by the way, yeah. Oh, of course. <laughs> well, the same thing here in New York. They make you jump through a bunch of hoops. Yeah. And uh, another reason I'm trying to get out of here as quickly as possible, because now my, now my kids are at the age that they're going to start sending letters eventually and being like, why aren't your kids in school? And why haven't you registered? <laughs> I really don't, you know, <laughs> I, 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 you know, back, back when I was in high school, I actually had the truancy officer in my house on a regular basis. Um, and my family let her into my bedroom. So... <laughs> That was always that a fun was smart. <laughs> uh, well, it, it it worked out. Her and I ended up having a, a nice working relationship where I could basically tell her "fuck you" very nicely, and she would end up just leaving. Um, <laughs> and uh, and 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 a couple of years later, I ended up becoming extremely close with one of her with one of her daughters. <laughs> And her and I are still friends all these years later, too. And we always laugh about the fact that I knew her mom first. And it's because I would wake up and roll over because I uh, I had a bunk bed for the longest time, even though I it was always just me in the room. <laughs> and uh, I like to sleep on the top bunk. And uh, I, so I would like roll over and literally be like either eye to eye or eye to the top of the head, depending on how short they were, uh, <laughs> of who, whoever like walked into my room. <laughs> so that's how I would wake up many mornings. I would roll over and see... Uh, See Mrs. Augustinson just looking at me. So, Jeremy, <laughs> are, uh, are we getting up this morning? Nope. <laughs> going back nah, not nah, gonna happen. <laughs> see, I, see, I was, I was never, I never really ditched, and it wasn't because I, I didn't like, you know, I could have done it. I think I did it once actually, just, just out of experiment, just to see what would happen. And nothing really happened, but I was like, I still like going to school because that's where all my friends are. That's kind of like my attitude about school. It was like, I don't care about the school shit. You know, I really didn't care because it was too boring. Yeah. Well, it, but it, my it friends bored were me. There. 
It bored. Well, yeah, my friend, my friends were there too, but it, it didn't have. I, I didn't get like that till I moved up here to New York. Like, and I was supposed to be in my junior year, and then they they put me back. They put me back in the tenth grade, even though I <laughs> finished. Even though I even though I had enough credits and everything to finish. Um, with actually relatively high marks in PA, just because the way the stupid region system works. And uh, like as soon as that happened, I'm like, well, this is just retarded. I, I have to do all this crap over again. No, I'm I've like I've you know I've been like a, an A student my entire high school career until last year where I slipped down to like B's. Um, like, no, I'm not redoing the year again. <laughs> and I just quickly lost interest. And like I would sleep in, so I didn't care. By the time I got up at noon, I was like, ah, oh, my friends will be out of school in two hours, and I would meet up with them almost immediately. <laughs> Yeah, I just I just went there just because that's where all my friends were, and whatever. I just didn't care, didn't care about the whole school thing. It was just everything was just everything around it was just so much fun. Lunchtime, oh god, taco snacks. They need to sell those at stores. But anyways, um, <laughs> but yeah, that, that was all all it was. Just oh, I'm just gonna go there, hang out with my friends, deal with the stupid, and then they finally they were like, Jim. <laughs> We know you're smart enough to do this. You just don't, you know, just don't care. <laughs> like, yeah. do you want to graduate with your class? Yeah. Okay. Let's put you in the GED program and you'll, you'll graduate with your class. And I was like, cool. So basically I just spent two months, you know, practicing the GED and I knew all that shit. It's just, it's easy. It's stupid <laughs> stuff. Well, but, yeah. That's what I did. I, yeah. I, I dropped. I, I dropped out technically in the tenth in, in in the tenth grade, even though I should have been in the in the eleventh. Um, and then a year later, I went and, and on my own uh, got the giant book, the giant study guide for the for the GED, um, and and sat in my and cr- and locked myself in my bedroom essentially for a month, and just studied the like again. I knew most of the stuff, but just as a refresher, I cr- you know I crammed for like a month, mm-hmm. and then went and took a t- went and took the test. And I uh, got almost a perfect score. And when I showed it to my mother, instead of I got congratulations, I got, well, I got, I got a, well, that's great. And then I got a slap um, because, you know, both my parents were public school teachers and it always drove them absolutely insane that I dropped out of school. Um, although years later, they finally both had to come around and admit it was the best thing for me. And they, they, don't, they know now why I did it. <laughs> um, but my mom actually but I'm did sure slap it made me. them look bad at school. Like, oh, there's Mrs. Heisen N word. Besides yeah. the besides the impossible name to pronounce, like her son didn't <laughs> dropped out of school. She must be a terrible teacher. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's what they, they would think. Well, it it freaked most of them out too, because again, I was like a really good student. <laughs> yeah. And I just I totally lost interest after they I mean, I was losing interest before that. I was bored in most of my classes. But if you think you know. that's bad, look look what happened to Nick. His dad was a damn principal of the school. <laughs> He dropped yeah, out. My, 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 mom, my mom was only the teacher in the school that yeah. when I was in elementary school, she wasn't the principal. Ah, oh, fucking a. So, uh, your podcast, you want to plug it? Anything else you want to plug to? Yeah, sure. Why not? Uh, we've been we've been skipping at some episodes recently. We used to be a weekly podcast. The past couple I blame of Dave. I blame just blame Dave for everything. Yeah, well, it seems to work for you. Yeah, it, it usually works. Um, yeah, well, it's usually it's either been Dave or and or Andre because I've I bowed bowed out of one show a month ago, and that's the first time I've bowed out, bowed out of a show in forever <laughs> because I'm always there no matter what. Um, but yeah, so our the podcast sees Liberty is uh, the new website, mm-hmm. uh, which I which I'd appreciate people checking out because you know and hopefully using the Amazon link once Paul once Paul gets off his ass and uh, puts it up there for me um, and see if see if they, they if they try to tell me that I know everybody who uses the goddamn link. Um, cause that'll drive me insane. Yeah. But anyway, it's a uh, SOL podcast dot org. Shit out of luck. Exactly. That's what I think every time I think of SOL, it's like, come on, man, don't use it. I, I, I know I, I, I use it because enough. Well, I, I knew people were going to point it out originally and I was just like, yeah, it, it, it's applicable. So <laughs> whatever. I don't care. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> uh. But I will so say that my it. Jesse Ventura is far better than Dave's. Way, way better. Um, <laughs> the science yeah, well, fact. <clears throat> the Dave's, Dave's Jesse gets to be a little too much like Did you Alex. know that? No, you can't even do it now. Damn it. Yeah. Uh, did you know? I mean, they, did you know that they put fluoride inside of the planes in 9-11? It's a science fact. You should know that fact. <laughs> 
I don't know. I think he got the inflections down, but he he may have the voice still over you. <laughs> He just he just loses it every time every time he tries to do that cross conversation, which is funny as hell when he pulls it off. But once he starts doing it, when he tries to start doing Alex Jones and Jesse together, he lo- he loses it within like thirty seconds. Like that, those thirty seconds can be magical. They have been. Like I've actually sat in, like I like back in the day when we were still doing video podcast. I like I was actually staring at him in awe. Like holy fuck! And then he just loses it because they start blending together and that's the whole because, starts sounding like that's because we're the same person. You know the facts. <laughs> yeah. You know what? There's a there's a dude that's, that that that's, hawks pillows. I think pillows. you need to do more, more work on that. That's it's no Jeffrey Tucker. No, you okay, know what? I, that. That, now that I now that I remember, like I think I think the really the inspiration for for me wanting to do Jesse Ventura was the My Pillow commercial. I know you've seen this commercial on TV. You know the guy that's like. Every oh, one Mike, of my pillows. Yeah. yeah, every one of my pillows. It's, he sounds just like Jesse from the Buddy Ventura. Every time I hear him, I'm like, it protects you from chemtrails. I'm just waiting for that line, but it never comes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, go to mypillow.com. <laughs> well, I, I still hear it all the time because it's a GCN. They GCN plays that ad. Oh, they do? <laughs> well, I hear, it every, I hear it every night when I do the show. <laughs> Did you know that George W. Bush didn't have a my pillow on 9-11? <laughs> Bet you didn't even know that little fact. <laughs> <sighs> Next stuff, time, man. now I ruined that commercial. Next time you hear that, you're I'm gonna, gonna be like, hear, "I'm gonna tonight. I'm, I'm gonna do the fiends later tonight." I'm gonna yeah, hear you're gonna it. hear it, and you're gonna be like, "Know the facts." <laughs> yeah, I'm probably, I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna cu- I'm, a good night I'm, sleep. I'm probably going to curse out loud and then immediately yell Corel rule at myself Um, uh, because I'll be cursing you out. Be like, now that's all I hear. All right, man. (sighs) All right, man. Great talking to you again. How long have you been doing this? Wow. A while. An hour and 15 minutes. An hour and a quarter. Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Works for me, man. Yep. <laughs> Worms, man. Worms. And stay away from those uh, Rasta farms. 